does the idea of making beef wellington for the holidays sound a little bit intimidating? Well, don't worry anymore. We have a solution for you. This is a very easy way to create individually wrapped beef medallions topped with pate, wrapped in pastry, that go straight into the freezer. Then you can just pull them out day of and bake them off when you're ready to serve. You start with one whole beef tenderloin. This is about five pounds. I want to cut it in half, but this side is much more narrow than the middle. So it's a good rule of thumb to just kind of tuck under that really thin part. And so now it looks much more even and I can find a center point from here. And then season each side very generously with salt and pepper and give it a nice even coat. Okay, I have a super hot pan here to sear off the meat. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of safflower oil. And I'm gonna do one piece at a time. Just wanna get it really brown. About two to three minutes on each side. Okay, that has some nice color, so I'm gonna turn it over. When you're searing meat, you really don't wanna move it until it's ready to be turned. Okay, this looks great. I'm gonna transfer this to a rack over a sheet pan and add one more tablespoon of the oil and add my second piece. Okay, that looks great. It's browned on all sides. I'll move this to the pan. I'm gonna let this meat rest for about 40 minutes to let the juices seal and get them nice and cool before we wrap them in the pastry. Next step is to make the mushrooms to accompany the beef wellington packets. I have three pounds of mixed wild mushrooms. I'm gonna have to do them in batches. I have a large skillet heating over medium high. I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of butter. I'll save the rest for my next batch. And a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. Now the mushrooms. And a few sprigs of fresh thyme. Fresh thyme and mushrooms are so great together and this will really perfume them as they cook. So we want these to cook down, get a little bit golden brown. It'll take about 15 minutes. They're squeaking and they smell so good already. Okay, these mushrooms look great. They've lost their moisture. They're nice and brown. I'm going to add a little bit of cognac. I'm gonna add about three tablespoons to this batch. This is gonna add a really great flavor and help to deglaze the pan and get up some of the flavor that's in the pan itself. So a little bit of salt and pepper. I'll put these in a bowl and then continue with my second batch. The meat has rested. It's been about 40 minutes. So from these two pieces, we wanna get eight pieces total. I'll get four from this one, just divide it in half and in half again. You will end up with some pieces that are slightly smaller than the others, but that's kind of the way it goes. So this is one piece of puff pastry. This will wrap four of our medallions of tenderloin. So I'm just gonna get this onto a floured surface and I wanna roll this to a little bit bigger than 12 by 16. Need about six by eight to wrap each piece of beef. And I can use the ruler to cut out my square. One piece of beef on each square, and then top it with two tablespoons of pate. This is a duck liver mousse pate, which is delicious on top of the beef. I have a beaten egg. This is gonna help the pastry adhere to itself and make a nice package around the meat. And then fold up the corners making sure to completely enclose each piece. So now I'm gonna get another piece of puff pastry. I'll wrap the remaining four, and then these can either chill for an hour and go into the oven, or this is the exciting part, two weeks in the freezer. You could do this two weeks ahead of time, keep them well wrapped in your freezer, and then they'll go straight into the oven from the freezer. So these are our frozen mini Wellingtons. I can give a little egg wash. This is just a glaze, just like you would do for a pie, just to give it a nice shine and golden brown color on top. These will go into a 425 degree oven. Because they're frozen, it'll take about 35 minutes to get to medium rare. 
If they were from the refrigerator, it would only take about 25. The Wellingtons are done. They have been resting for about 10 minutes on a new sheet pan so they don't continue to cook on that warm sheet pan. To plate, just put one on a plate. Add a little bit of the mushrooms. And then to finish this off, all you would need is a simple green salad or some dressed lettuce leaves, something clean and refreshing to go with all this delicious richness. There is your perfect time-saving take on a holiday classic. You can cut in and see how delicious that meat is. But I'm going to give it a try. Mmm. So good. So rich. And perfect for the holidays.